Long time no see, Jason. Been a while. Hello there, brothers and sisters, and happy Friday the 13th. Well, happy for you, but not for me. Why? Because the man, the myth, the legend who's been through us for 30 years, Jason Voorhees, has officially been put to rest. No returns, no sequels, dead for real. And who's responsible for that? The man who wrote the script for Friday the 13th, Victor Miller. The guy who was in a legal battle with gun media because of the trademark for not only Jason Voorhees, but Friday the 13th. Gun Media released this article on their website, Friday the 13th, about this situation and the future of Friday the 13th. And it's not really going good at all. Which prevents future DLCs or anything that has to do with Friday the 13th. With skins or maps in general. So, let's talk about Friday the 13th. Let's see how this all began. And it all began when Summer Camp uh, Gun Media and Ilphonic made the game of Friday the 13th off-brand. It was going to be called Summer Camp Volume 1. This was a trailer that was released on IGN.com and it was going to be a Friday the 13th off-branded game, kind of like Dead by Daylight. But things changed. Around 2016, they decided to call up people that had to do with this, the franchise of Friday the 13th, including the man who has been most famous for the killings in Jason Voorhees' world, Kane Hodder. Now, this with all the 200 animations, the motion capturing was phenomenal, everything was running smoothly. The trailer, the hype, it was all going good. But... Not until they got to the day one release, which got a lot of uh, flaws, which had to do with everybody trying to get in to sign in online at the same time, about a, around 40,000 people to be exact. Everybody was into this game, everybody was like hype, they wanted to play Jason, they wanted to run from Jason, and, but they couldn't. So they had to take about a week for everything to flow in and try to get this game into balancing. They did, and the game was fun. You was able to play with your friends, play with, make new friends, and have a good time. But, the updates and patches that Gun Media threw out onto Friday the 13th made this game a bit repetitive and a bit slow. Just by the way they've been throwing out, like, trying to fix the bugs that didn't really need fixing, uh, putting in counselors that are from the Friday the 13th franchise that didn't really need to be in it. I mean, people like Shelly, uh, Tommy Jarvis was the only thing that we really needed. It was a kind of a cool way because you could call it Tommy Jarvis if you do get killed by Jason. It was kind of a big help with somebody with only one shell and a rifle. But the differences between Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th, which Dead by Daylight, you got only Freddy, Michael, Leatherface, they're just doing it just to get their, you know, back up to what they used to be. But with Friday the 13th, there's a multiple ways you can escape Jason. Four ways. One, you could kill Jason. Two, you could escape by car, escape by boat, and escape by calling the cops. That's pretty much it. And the first one I just said has been the reason why this Friday the 13th has not been as it was it used to be. Because of the community, it's what made, what made Friday the 13th uh, not what it used to be, like I said, since day one. You got your typical community. You got your typical noobs, your pros that think they're hot shit, and your foreigners, your rednecks, your kids, and your gamer girls. Not much, but they're not really interesting to play with. But along the lines, this game has been poo poo. But Gun Media has decided they wanted to bring in something new. Something along the lines of single player mode, where you could target practice so when you go into online, you probably be better at the game, but being better at the game is what is what's bad about Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, the more you play it, the less you'll be scared or even think that Jason Voorhees is even a threat and you're just gonna get W's a lot, which is what takes the fun out of it. You know, don't be so serious about the game. Don't try. Just take it as it is. Try to be scared. When I first played the game, I was scared of Jason. I was like. Oh gosh, it was like I was actually in Friday the 13th myself. But the more I played it, I was one of them. The more I played it, the less I was scared and I was like, ah, this game is easy mode, I don't really care that for that much. But you know, 
they brought something new to it. It was like, okay, this game might have a chance to be him back to what it used to be back in day one. They're bringing back single player challenges. What do you can do online? Something like campaign mode in a way. It's kind of a story. And also virtual cabin, which led to the biggest DLC they were going to release later on the year of 2018. The Grendel map, which in J which also was in Jason X, alongside with the Uber Jason, which was the half man, half robot Jason Voorhees that didn't really get any screenplay, but he got a big fucking machine. Shed day, if you ask me. But this was going to be good, and when I saw the leaks of the how it was going to look, he actually looked pretty badass. Along the lines of now seeing the Grendel map after finding out that Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th is dead, it kind of breaks my heart to the, where this community and this franchise has gone to. Just because of one man who's greedy and does all he wants is just money and everything that is in pocket change to the man, the people who worked very hard on to making this game as fun as possible and for the community to drag on the, the real Friday the 13th fans to hop onto this game and to make it to everybody's hobbies and make friends and do all this sorts of cool stuff on Friday the 13th. But the same time the community is not really the solution but i thought the Garindle mag was going to make something of a solution virtual cabin on the other hand it was released on the beta for friday the 13th before social media came into it, before they decided to release it on the consoles uh that is something like showed you like what they were going to do out what characters what skins whatever same goes with the ps4 version which was maybe they were going to do something with baby jason they were going to do something with Uber Jason, but I read of other skins that we're going to put in the game. It just breaks my heart the how Friday the 13th was. And right now, we don't know what's the future for Friday the 13th. We're just going to get patches and updates. Uh, whenever they, the lawsuit will be dropped, as long as whenever, it, if they do win the battle, hopefully we get a bit of update. Until then, Jason Voorhees is going to get a proper funeral and reuniting with his mother and that's all I'm going to have to say about it and you're probably not going to see me play Friday the 13th very very long time until we get an update on what's going on with the whole lawsuit the legal battles with Friday the 13th but that's all I got to say about Friday the 13th my thoughts on the whole lawsuit between Victor, Mil Victor Miller and Gun Media and the future of Friday the 13th and I will see you guys later on. And also, if you're enjoying yourself on Friday the 13th, sit back and relax, enjoy some uh, binge watching of Friday the 13th, or play Friday the 13th the game just out of memory. Just remember all the good times that you had on Friday the 13th with Jason and all your friends. So that until then, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Deuces! My sweet. Sweet Jason, mommy is proud of you. Now come home. <laughs>